Hamley. Hello. You're a legend. Thanks, mate. No problem at all, buddy. Robin and I went to school in 1783. <laughs> About that. Yeah. Thanks, mate. You've uh, you've done a very kind job. Look at that, all branded. So uh, got to get part of sales director. Absolutely. Yeah. So Robin has stepped up where bigger brands, who we ordered this from, so mentioning no names, uh, wouldn't support the project. But Robin and his fantastic company have. So thanks ever so much, mate. And uh, Robin's not a shabby runner himself. So, what are your plans this year for running? Uh, I'm going to sign up for Gloucester Half on the 1st of August. And then I think Manchester's been postponed about five times in October. <laughs> so, event, hopefully, I'll get the start line in Manchester. Fingers crossed, mate. Oh, I can't thank you enough for this. Mate, You're an absolute star. Thank you so all much. The best. We'll be following you online as well. Oh, yeah, too right, mate. Thank you ever so much. No keep me on the road. Have a good. Jesus, I can't That's hold it in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. No worries. You're a legend. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Have a good day. You. See you later. Okay, Tuesday morning, uh, about to hop on a turbo to do some intervals, some under overs. So 105% above FTP and then 95% below FTP, just doing uh, minutes of each. So just a little bit over, a little bit under. Um, five one minute blocks, so 10 minutes, and then a five minute recovery, and then another 10 minute block, so 20 minutes in total. Um, it's pretty unpleasant, I have to say, but it does reap huge benefits, in my opinion, I think, between sweet spot training and under and overs uh, and endurance rides so long slow rides I think pretty much that's uh, that covers all the bases really in my opinion so plan is to do that it's going to be pretty grim I'll see if I finish it I may not even finish it but I'm not going to I'm not going to set myself up for failure right now um, but then the plan is that this evening we'll go to Castle Coombe with Zach and Indy and I'm going to send them to do a 20k lap try and do it as easily as they can and I will um, try and do some flying laps to catch up with them and then recover and make sure they're all right and then uh, that'll be today. So Zach, Indy and I had a fantastic evening on Tuesday riding around Castle Coombe having lots of fun with hundreds of other people, all the way from pros right the way through to people riding along on shopping bikes. Everybody looking after each other, some people careering around at 50k an hour, some people riding around at 5k an hour. No shouts, no kind of anybody getting in each other's way, fantastically run. I would highly recommend if you're in the area, getting up there. Uh, I will put a link to Andy Cook's website below. So then on Wednesday, I put 100k in the legs, uh, a nice lovely ride across to Seven Bridge and then into Bristol. Wednesday went out and did more of a tempo session in the evening. Don't forget hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell and every week when I put these videos out at least once a week sometimes two or three videos a week you'll be told when I put them out and also leave me a comment below let me know what you think about the videos what stuff you'd like to see more of what stuff you'd like to see less of and give us a thumbs up swim number three now of the week, Friday morning, uh, and I've only done about 12, well I've done 1400, 1600 metres for the other two swims, but this morning I'm meeting up with some of the other guys from Masters, so it'll be interesting to see what the set is, I really hope it's not too much, because I'm finding the swim is tiring me out more than the bike riding at the moment, uh, I think it's probably just the change of like what body's doing, my bike riding sort of like body has kind of got used to putting in yeah, three, four, five hundred <coughs> kilometres a week. Whereas the swim is quite a different uh, motion, isn't it? Um, so we'll see how we get on this morning. I hope it's not a tough set. I hope it's just a nice reintroduction to swimming. It's been nice to be back in the pool so far this week.
absolutely stunning morning here in the West Country. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Haven't managed to get any other uh, training in since Friday's swim, mainly due to the fact that Bex and the boys went away for a night's camping um, on Saturday night, which resulted in morning. Um, obviously, I had to stay and look after morning, look after the dogs, which uh, which was actually quite enjoyable. They were very well behaved, and I suppose I probably could have got in a turbo session, but as you probably know by now, I'm not the world's biggest turbo fan. And um, when I do a turbo session, I really like it to be a, um, a quality session, and I don't like being interrupted when I'm doing those. So I just thought, well, we'll just class it as a long rest period. So I may not have quite the distance that I'd planned this week in regard to uh, morning in regard to kind of getting up near the 400 kilometre mark by the end of today it should be a little touch nearer 350k I think which is okay for week one of the build um, I have got a couple of quality sessions in there a couple of tempo rides I know one tempo ride um, and the over and under session so some good quality in there as well as some distance I just need to make sure that I'm a bit more organized next week to get up and over that 400k mark for week two of the build. So then the plan, morning. Um, the plan today is to meet up with the club, but to get a few Ks in before, easy, nice easy endurance uh, hour or so, and then treat the ride down to Wales with the club as a bit of a tempo session, because they ride just a touch quicker then I will be on the Grand Tour, which is good. Treat that as a tempo. And then leave them in wells. Um, maybe see a few hot fuzz sites on the way around. The church perhaps where uh, Tim Messenger met his demise, we'll see. But I think they'll be stopping for coffee in wells and I shall leave them there and then simply endurance ride back, uh, make it very easy ride, riding home on my own. Um, so treat that middle block as a bit of a tempo and maybe add a few extra Ks in. Main reason for leaving them in Wales um, and not stopping for coffee is really a uh, time factor, um, but also I get really cold. And when we stopped at Sweets last week, as enjoyable as it was to chat, it was half an hour, 40 minutes uh, of getting cold. And also, you know, that's a good 20K, uh, 15, 20K of riding that I could have done. And as nice as social as it is, and it is lovely to see everyone, I can chat whilst we're riding. This breaks absolutely raw, don't they? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So that should bring me up to the end of this week then, when I get home. Um, so this week, obviously increased the mileage, near a 400k, a few more recons, and 
also uh, a couple more videos coming out the planned final polar bears video should actually be completed this week i didn't get it done last week because of work and i've also made a video talking about this here bike um talking about the upgrades that i've done on it um and that's pretty much ready to go out i'll probably put that out on wednesday or something so we're all said and done we'll get this uh nice easy bit of riding done and i'll see you all fingers crossed next week for some more bike riding and swimming and maybe a run i don't know probably not i'd rather do some strength and conditioning than run at the minute have a good week